Hey guys, this is Cynthia. This is a case that is one of my really hardest cases. I get these from time to time. She's coming from migraines and low back pain. She says it's a 15 to 20 out of 10 pain in her head. This is a piercing she got for her migraines. We tested her, of course, but this is a case that's mostly mental, psychological issues. And I get these from time to time and they're very, very, very difficult, hard to get better. I'm letting you guys watch this because I want you to see the truth. We took x-rays, we adjusted her. This is a journey and a half. Watch and leave your comments. Wow, that was a good adjustment. Uh, we're with Cynthia today, and uh, she's come from Moreno Valley, and she's been watching my channel for a couple years now, and she has migraines. Migraines all her life, she's in pretty bad shape. Why are you here, Cynthia? Pretty much uh, lower back pain and migraines, uh, 15 plus years of my life. That's about a 15 to 20 now. 15 to 20. They're so bad, she's willing to overcome my bad reviews to come all the way down from Reno Valley. A lot of medication uh, with doctors, um, MRIs and TT scans, um, x-rays. Home remedies. Home remedies. Tell us about these ear thing you guys put in your ears. It's a piercing. Piercing? They oh, it's a piercing. Us, they told us to put it in our ear in a specific place, and uh -huh. it did work at a point. Brought it down to maybe 70% it works still but uh, I'm still having it. She has a laundry list of issues that uh, she actually typed out and sent me. This is not about migraines. This is about a whole total body breakdown. Uh, every morning she wakes up with what? Numbness in the hands. Legs? Yes, numbness. Numbness. Knees? They always crack, hurt. They, they crack all the time, right? Not a good sleep. I remember when I was a kid, I would sleep the whole night. And nowadays, I, I don't sleep at yeah. all. So. Anxiety, depression, plenty of anxiety and depression. She takes medication for that. Uh, shortness of breath. Uh, heartburn. Tell us about your heartburn. Um, yeah, it's at least once a week or twice a week. Constipation, IBS. Tell us okay. about that. Uh, has been having more and more and more lately. Yeah, and she goes IBS. Her IBS is going from constipation to diarrhea Within back and 15 forth. Minutes 15 minutes. 15 minutes, back and forth. I mean, she's only how old, 65? <laughs> 35. 35. And has how many old kids at home? Two. Uh, I woke up 6 a.m. Uh, with a chronic migraine or um, cluster headache. I don't, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I thought it was going away, uh, so that's why I decided to go to his family. Um, as soon as I got there, um, around 10 o'clock, it got pretty bad, and I stayed all day long inside the car until 8.30 p.m. With a towel around her head, right? Uh, yeah, with blankets and everything to block the sun and everything. Yeah, and so tell us how your migraines go too. You get it in the left eye mostly, and, and then your eyeball starts Your eyeball starts swelling up with the vomiting. Tell us about the night, vomiting. Vomiting, throwing up, um, dizziness, anxiety, dizziness. Anxieties. Yeah, yeah, I have to lay down, um, and then it jumps to the other, die, the other eye sometimes. Um, or even I have it all day on one eye, and then I wake up, I don't have as much pain, but it's right on the other eye. I just went to the restroom before coming in right here, and as soon as I was done, I started, you know, with anxiety and, you know. Yeah, and the reason I point that out is because I'm trying to show how pervasive this is, guys. She's here, she's throwing up, she's panicking in the bathroom because of she's. this is new to her. But I'm just showing you that that's how sensitive she is right now to everything. Tell us about your brain fog. Um, oh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really bad. Yeah. I start talking and then I, it's blank. I mean, I don't know yeah. what I was saying. She seems sweet right now, but she says, even on here, she says, problem with anger management. Oh, yeah. I love this, anger with management, kids, the movie, like the movie. And they all noticed it. I'm really? Pretty, yeah. Well, she's been sweet to me because she's trying to suck it up, I guess. <laughs> Sensitive to strong smell, uh, sleep apnea, always cold feet. She has a really big oh, neck yes. hump right here because of the bad posture. She self stress all the time. Uh, ever since I had my last baby, they uh, diagnosed me with uh, thyroid. They say it's controlled. Um, on the medicine, medication I have on, mm -hmm. but I don't, I feel, I'm you don't feel like control. Now. Ring in the ears, dizziness, blurry vision. For some reason, every night I go to sleep and in the morning, I sometimes bleed on my tongue, either the left or right. I'm always biting at every night, every almost every night. Wow, I've looked at her x rays, and her x rays are not as bad as I thought they were going to be. We have a three millimeter imbalance and a 10 degree spinal curve. Here we have 14 millimeter short left leg, 11 degree curve, and large breasts, high neck reversal, horizontal atlas, and impacted wisdom teeth. And we have sway back and IB. Yes. But there's also some psychological stuff here. And so um, we're going to have to address that this week. And I hope somebody resonates with her. And I hope this video finds you uh, well. And uh, you understand that this may help you find a solution. Any pain, discomfort in your back? The tightness? Yes, tightness on the back. On a scale back. of 1 to 10, what is that? Um, 7, 8. Yes. Tightness, 7, 8. What is that? 7. Yeah, that's that? more. Go ahead and go back again. She doesn't even lean back, guys. I go ahead and lean back. So her head goes back this way rather than tilts back. Okay. How much pain in your back and your knees? Lower back and knees, um, a seven, and then the back around a ten. Stand on her toes, please. Five seconds. How much pain in your feet? Um, 
Around a seven. Seven. And what's with the balance? Why can't you stay five seconds on your feet? Don't know. It's been a while that I've been like this. That's I can't right. stand up. Yeah, right? Stacey has plantar fasciitis. How long? Three years. Uh, this is going to be a miracle, guys. Yeah, she's doing pretty good, actually. She's pretty trusting. I'm pretty impressed. This way. Wow. Good, good. And she's actually very trusting, so that's a good thing, because she's going to let me do my work. Here, she's tight, but not nearly as bad. Let's help Cynthia up, see how she's doing. We're reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Let's check it out. Dizzy right now. Dizzy? Mm -hmm. Now I've instructed Cynthia to walk down the hall to recalibrate her spine, spreading that neck adjustment through her whole body. Let's listen in. The walk was any different? Yeah, a little bit lighter, yeah. That was a seven a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Six. This is more painful still. Seven, a six, yeah. Okay, so it's better but than it's it was. Still, yeah, I can't lean all the way back. <laughs> Look at the floor of your neck. That was a seven minute ago. What is that now? I don't feel uh, stiffness or stretching right now. A little bit less freshness, yeah. A four, five. I still go up to the same. And I feel like lower back. Uh, Again, I, what's the number? It was a ten a minute ago. An eight, seven. Yeah, it's, it's better. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the panic in it. The problem is that she still has this huge amount of anxiety and she doesn't want to just say blanketly she's feeling better. And so this anxiety is holding her back, which is fine. I mean, this is the truth. I love it. So go down again. I want you to tell us how the knees feel. Um, not a lot of pain, but the cracking is still there. Again, not that a was a seven oh, minute ago. The, uh, a five. Yeah, yeah, it's better. It's better, right? Mm -hmm. Her feet were a seven out of ten, I think, a minute ago. Now, what are your feet now? Uh, Stay up on your toes, five seconds. What are they? Your feet. Uh, the pain is just like a five. She doesn't even remember what she was like five minutes ago. No, I don't so remember. So she can't even those. remember that she's better. That's why she's saying with this inquisitive look, like, am I better? She doesn't think she is, but she is. And you guys saw it, okay? Feel subjectively right now. Lighter. You feel lighter? Yeah, basically yeah. lighter. Do you think you improved at all or you don't remember? I, I think I did. I think I yeah. did. Is that funny, guys? <laughs> That's pretty funny, okay? You had a first adjustment and tell us what your reaction was. You said um, you feel more pain in your back. Tell us what happened. Upper, upper back, it was a lot of um, constant pain gotcha. uh, instead of the lower back. A lot of nausea, um, anxiety. And then, High anxiety. Um, yes, yeah, really bad, like sick to my stomach and um, I was not comfortable and I couldn't. Very uncomfortable, cost. right? Very. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, but tell us about your headaches. They were 7 out of 10 this morning. What were they now? Um, I don't have a headache at the and moment. And so she doesn't say that that's unusual. Sometimes she doesn't have headaches, she yeah, says. Someday. But she went from a 7 out of 10 to 0. And so, um, again, she's a headache patient. She doesn't think that's a special, but I know that's on the right path. The upper back pain, again, her body's adjusting. But I, I'm not trying to say you're... I'm not trying to convince you she's better. I'm just saying for you guys to see the progression. It's not always a straight line. And it is for her, but she's so scared and doesn't know what's going on that she doesn't realize what's going on. There's improvement. Um, not if I expected. Can you tell them what was what were you expecting? No pain. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I just want to know how much better are you overall? I feel ten percent. Ten percent. We said ten percent. Yeah. How would you sleep? Uh, I felt more uh, relaxed when I wake up. When I woke up. Yeah. And what did your husband say? Uh, he didn't hear me snore. Bring in the left ear yesterday. Yes. And her IBS kicked into full full mode. She was in yeah. terrible pain from that. So I thought that was interesting. Okay, Cynthia, what did you just tell me about taking medication yesterday? I stayed off uh, pills. I, I just I just found this out, by the way. <laughs> okay. Ibuprofen 800 or the Mexican um, pill, that, that, that's the only one that's helped me a little bit with the migraines. What happens is when you come off that medication, it's not you have a little bit of rebound. Plus, you're so used to being muted, and now your body is listening a little bit more. Make sure you tell me, guys, if you're going to change the way you take medication. Um, <laughs> and so I have no problem staying off all week. I love it. But you have to tell me this stuff. So we're gonna work on this to see, and this is gonna hurt a little bit. So what we're doing, guys, we're working on our suboccipital muscles because this is where the atlas is, and this is where migraines come from. I don't know if the suboccipitals work. I'm gonna work her um, SCM now. This is gonna hurt her a lot. Does this cause your headache to be worse, or it just hurts where I'm pushing? It does hurt. Okay. Is this side worse than the other side? Yeah. Interesting. Don't you get your headaches usually on the left side? Either or. Oh, either or? Gotcha. 
breathe. Good. Again. Good. I can't see you walk in. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I think they dislocated th something down here. This is a little different. Okay. And so uh, it generally doesn't hurt, but I think it may with you a little bit. Okay. Nope, okay. Wednesday and we had a rough day yesterday. Rough, rough, rough day. It was hard. Uh, I call it moving day because you know I either make or break our, our time together. And uh, I think she was even questioning whether she wanted to come back today. So, um, but I think we did better. But I'm gonna get her take on everything. But I'd like to hear Cynthia's take on the last 24 hours. Hard. What was hard about it? Everything, keeping the posture, um, the correct posture, um, was killing me on the pain. Um, tried it over and over and over. How to find you know a way of relaxation to get pain off and then go back on the correct posture posture exactly so she has a unique thing and we talked about a little bit on the video yesterday about how uh it's a little it's a little unique when she lets her arm go like this she feels tension this is pulling over here so we're going to change her adjustment a little bit i'm going to adjust her in the chair today and i do it yesterday a little bit but i'm going to adjust her lower cervicals in the chair yesterday i adjusted her mid cervicals something is keeping her shoulder from allowing it to fall down and so I think it's an old dislocation, she says when she was a kid, but again, something is stopping this left side from relaxing. Yeah, I still have hope and yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so uh, let's ask you this, and we did this yesterday, you were 10% better yesterday. Do you still think you're 10? Do you think you're a tiny bit more than that? 12%, 20%, where do you um, think you are? I'm just kind of curious. If you're still 10, that's fine, or no, five? No, I think uh, a little bit, 15%, gotcha. little, it went better. Anyways, word of the day is difficult. Yeah, so uh, Cynthia's challenge is again is that she has some kind of left shoulder issue. So I'm gonna go through the whole thing again, adjust her shoulder all over again, and adjust her thoracics to try to release the shoulder so she can actually get into APAN. She's having trouble doing the instructed postural changes. So stay right there. I'm gonna adjust your shoulder here real quick again. Relax. Good. There you go. That I went a little bit, huh? Yes, I felt so. it. Yeah, I felt it too. Good. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, nothing. Nothing, today, exactly. Yeah. Today, something, exactly. Mm -hmm. Maybe we won't even adjust her upper thoracics because she has this huge thoracic T1 vertebral prominence here. I mean, it's huge, big mm -hmm. hump here. So we're going to adjust right through that in the chair. I'm actually going to go to T1 here. It's a little difficult adjustment. We'll go down into the adjustment. Let your head fall forward here. A little more. Wow. That was a good adjustment. Yes. Good. So we're going to go down to T1 here, and god dang, this thing is huge. Mm -hmm. And she's more flexible than sh yeah. I even thought. This isn't painful? Just yeah. a yeah, pinch. Yeah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, he's already starting to go. I'm going to go yeah. T1 here. Excellent. Good. How was that side? Good. We did this clavicle yesterday, mm -hmm. and she hates this. It's really mm -hmm. tender, right? Yes. So we're going to do it again, because we want to try to open this whole thing up. And she doesn't like me right now. See, watch this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She cried really bad yesterday yes. doing this one. More than I've ever seen anybody cry just from touching it yesterday. So um, when I did adjust it, it seemed to be a little better and it sent heat wave all up and from here, all up your neck. Really bad, yeah. Anyways, mm -hmm. this is gonna be painful on her. But I'm not gonna go really crazy. I'm just gonna try to push it a little bit, okay? Yes. Good, okay. So you guys are watching. Okay. Yeah. Good, wow, that went too. How was that pain? Not as bad as you thought it was going to be. No, it's heating up. Mm -hmm. It's heating up yep, again? again, and it's heating up a blue neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all the way to the ear. So we're going to do a thoracic adjustment on her. We just had her walk down the hall, and her shoulder is still hurting. So we're going to see if this actually allows her shoulder to loosen up to see if we can release this scapula to drop. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. Good. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. Good. And that went pretty good, guys. We're going to do one more right here. Right on our bra strap here. Read that. You let the shoulder drop. Wow. Where are you at right now at the end of the week? 
uh, not fully where I want to be, but um, I am getting there little by little. It's taking me a little bit more time, but um, I have hope that I'll get I'll get there. Someday. Do you feel like there's more hope today than there was on Tuesday and Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. Good, good. The most important thing, guys, I always say that the first week is called the week of hope. And the why is the week of hope? Because it's a it's a struggle to change people. We were 10, 10 15 percent before. Where do you think we are now? Yeah, I would say a good twenty percent or good, okay. twenty-five. Yeah. So usually I'll see about fifty to sixty percent. That's first what week. I see on the video. So that yeah, was yeah, yeah. for me not to get there. You know, as quick I totally get as, it. Yeah. No, I totally get it. But again, you can see some of the pitfalls we've had with you. Okay. How is the reality of being here? Your work is okay, good. Um, the way you talk and you know how you get to the client, it's even worse than I that what I was expecting but um I get depression and anxiety so it threw me off I mean yeah it's so hard. I spot, uh, yeah I talked to, to you about it yeah yeah but I would I, I again you guys think I may try to hide things but I'm not trying to hide anything I want the next person to see this video to mm -hmm. understand it ain't easy cheesy what did we do today we just on your left side today yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I wanted the, yeah, I feel like yeah, I yeah, want, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. imbalanced. We'll do, we'll do that adjustment today, but what, what was the interesting thing? I adjust her elbow. Yes. I work on her elbow. What did that do to your body? Uh, my back pain. I was better. And then I adjust her shoulder. What happened? Um, Not even her spine. Your pain, your pain went down too. Yes. And I laughed. And then I, I didn't work on her back. I didn't even adjust her neck yet. Her pain kept going down mm -hmm. in her back, right? Yeah. But the other interesting thing was I worked on her what? Jaw. And it kept dropping her pain. Yes. Before I even adjusted her neck, yeah, <laughs> which is interesting too, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, again, everybody's different. So I wanted to get that on camera. You'll see it. But the reason we went down that road is because the shoulder, what's going on with the shoulder, is affecting her recovery. So we had to go down and re-engineer lots of different things, and yes. and we I think we found a little bit of a good combination now. Okay, so this left shoulder adjustment may not go again right now. But we're going to do it again. It really helped her this morning, and we've noticed in the very beginning. Wow, mm -hmm. it's going good now. So I'm gonna work on her jaw in the chair here. Let you guys see what I do here. And this is some TMJ work. You okay? What? My neck. Oh, your neck. Your neck. Yeah, neck. Gotcha. From here to here. Right there. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Let me try to adjust you in the chair here with your neck. I'm gonna adjust high. I don't usually do this, but I've done it tons of times mm -hmm. in the laying down. But since we felt that, let's see if we can. Good. Go. Mm -hmm. Less pain? No, still the pinch. It's okay. like that. Yeah, let's try the right now. Mm -hmm. You see my angle of my my elbow is lower. Good. Okay, bring her back again. We're gonna work on our TMJ here a little bit. Good. Open your jaw a little bit, please. Good. We're going to adjust her elbow. Go ahead and stand up, please. This may not make sense to you guys, but how she carries her arm and her elbow does reflect on her posture, her skeletal system. So I'll be working on her elbow. She hates this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just working the, the radial head has helped her a lot, though. Nope, doesn't want to go still. About a 10 degree scoliosis back here it has helped her, actually. Every time we do this back here, she does better with her whole body. Shoulders down, reach into the table. Good, nice. And kind of reach into the table, reach. Wow. I think that was the best way we've had so far. Yeah, it's the last one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two. Two? Yeah, lower. Let's try it one more time, I'm just kind of curious. Look at how low you're on the ground. Yes. That's the lowest you've been the whole time. Mm -hmm. But about two in the low back? Even less. Even less, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So stand there and see how you do with the um, left neck. How's it feel? Two, one, three, four, where are we at? Right now, uh, 